when you have stuff that might be potentially dangerous or controversial, how does that work when, when, like, if they wanted to play with knives or something, how would that work? Over the years, we gravitated towards a more, less official way of doing it. Mm. Mm-hmm. So, you know, if a kid wants to learn how to chop wood, I'll go out there with them and, and show them how to do it safely. And I'll just observe them for as mm-hmm. long as I feel like I need to uh, mm-hmm. until I, I feel like they're, they're safe on their own. Right. right. Um, which with chopping wood is a very long time. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You and, can... and, and I would say with a chainsaw, I probably would have to have a certain amount of confidence in a student before I'd even, but the school doesn't own a chainsaw. So I can say, this is, my, this is my chainsaw, you know, right. <laughs> um, but it's never, it, you know, it's never been an issue. I mean, we could ask Iku about the kitchen. Um, mm. She does the, the cooking classes, but mm, uh, nice. you know, it's, it's never been an issue where a kid's taken a knife out of the kitchen and, and uh, or, or misusing and it in mis- some way. Yeah. 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 Right we do have a rule about weapons. Uh Um, And we have a definition of a weapon, which Mm. is anything that's used to threaten or intimidate somebody. Oh, okay. You know, which gets around this idea of like, well, this is this is just a stick. Right, right, right. This is the Agentic Schools podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world, where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.